Hey guys, what's up? This is Subtenko with Subtenko Gaming, and I want to bring up a little subject on Little Big Planet 3 and how I think it will be on the PlayStation 4. So this game right here is called The Unfinished Swan, which is a recently released game for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Move enabled, and that's what I'm using right now. Um, so it's a pretty unique game, but you can see right what I'm doing. I'm creating geometry and 3D space, and it's really it's really easy to do this, even though it's just one geometrical shape, the uh, rectangle. You can see where I'm, I'm heading with this. Uh, so, Little Big Planet 3, I think it will be a 3D platformer like Ratchet and Clank, but you know, still uh, known for its play, create, share model. And it's, it's not like Little Big Planet 3 will be the first 3D Little Big Planet. Because Little Big Planet Karting is actually the first Little Big Planet game doing that. You can create uh, scenery and tracks in a 3D space. Obviously, it's not a platformer though; it's a racer. So, imagine Little Big Planet 3 and the ability to create these 3D shapes, set, uh, like you do with um, Little Big Planet Karting in the create mode, but creating games for 3D a 3D platformer that's going to be crazy and I think that's that's one of the many reasons why Media Molecule is working on other stuff right now they're working on a new IP I think and not Tearaways but they're, they're working on another title and it's not a little big planet game so I think they're doing something with that and then when the time comes for little big planet 3 with the, when the PlayStation 4 releases They'll work on that. I'm not sure if Sony or Media Molecule has, you know, thought about incorporating the PS Move with, with the 3D space mode, but I mean they they've got move support in Little Big Planet already, so one would think that you can expect this kind of thing in Little Big Planet. So right now, imagine me. Imagine I'm a sack boy, and. Imagine this is Little Big Planet 3. I'm creating shapes. There'd be a pop it menu button, whatever. Imagine that those are stickers I just placed. How easy would it be just to put a sticker wherever you want? How easy it would be to select a geometrical shape. And if, if you don't put it on a on a surface, then you can create like a um uh orbital kind of movement thing like you can orbit it like this sort of but not not actually pick it up but move the object in 3d space xyz axis and then you could you know whoa <laughs> i guess you could throw it if you want to but you could you could morph the object and and do all kinds of stuff like in programs like 3d max or blender it's a no-brainer folks a little bit planet 3 if they make it like this for the PlayStation 4 is going to be one of the best games ever created. I, I can't wait. It's it's going to be awesome. And imagine create mode with your friends too. It's four sack boys, maybe even eight. It's, it's like the next Minecraft. It's even though Little Big Planet came out before Minecraft, I think. So. Um, but the concept is a natural concept. Play, create, share. That's a natural kind of concept. But I'm just looking for your thoughts on the matter of Little Big Planet 3 and play the PlayStation 4 and how it would turn out to be. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, subscribe if subscribe if you'd like to uh, enjoy more videos from me. I'll be coming out with uh, GTA 5 videos and. What else is coming out? Uh, PlayStation All-Stars video is coming out soon. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.